Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to access the factory settings on this 10.1 inch Android car radio system, which is fitted to this Honda Accord. I'll leave a link down in the description so you can check out um, a few issues that we had with this. Um, you might be in a similar boat where the Bluetooth and the USB don't work in sync after using the radio. So I'll leave that link down in the description. Anyway, we'll um, jump on to the factory settings. So to access factory settings, what we want to do Always come back to home. This is your home screen here. So when you're at this main screen, you go to apps here. Tap that once, go to car settings. And here we've got all our different settings. So if you want to access the factory settings, if you want to change anything or any of the protocols, or you want to adjust the reversing camera, or you want something a bit more advanced than the basic user settings, you go here to factory settings. Now there was no mention in the manual of what the passcode is. But um, we worked it out to be quad 8. So 8, 8, 8, 8. Hit OK. This will bring you to the factory settings, um, which normally is available to the um, developers. So through here, you can run through all the different settings. For example, protocol. I'll cover this. Keep watching the video. You'll see me cover this a bit later on in the video um, in regards to the climate control. So you can go there, you can go to your color settings, adjust how you want the display to look. Quick word of caution, make sure you take note of all the factory settings. So take a picture of, for example, if let's just say we go to the canvas information. This, if you want to go to the protocol. For example, just say you change something here or another quick example, if we go to the protocol parameter settings here you can change your reversing camera settings um, whether it switches up down and all of that so say you do change something in here um, you want to what I would suggest is see how this is switched around the door before it's a bit generic because it's um, there's a little bit of a problem with la language translation so take a picture of this before changing any of the settings so just take a picture of this then you can go ahead and then change it and just select another one, whatever you want, just in case um, just saves you having to do a full factory reset. However, if you do change something and it stops working or if something is playing up, best thing I can suggest is see this little reset hole here. What you want to do is get a little pin and put it in there. There's a little switch in there, a little tiny switch. You want to press and hold that switch down for about 10 seconds and that will reset the whole system and it'll set it back to factory settings. So that's another little tip um, in case you do change something new. But what I would suggest is just take a picture of anything you're going to change prior to changing it. Then you can go ahead and change it and then test it and make sure it's fine. So like I said, just keep watching the video and uh, we'll cover the um, climate control and the different settings. But otherwise, if you just came here to watch how to enter the factory settings, that's about it. Thanks for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe and for those who want to stay on just to watch out the climate control and stuff um, the problems we had stay on and I'll quickly cover that okay so now for example if I push if I push any of this it won't work because I'm not on ignition so now we'll turn the ignition on and now you see that pops up now originally when we first installed this when we when we tested everything it didn't work um, it was because of the wire at the back. There was a jumper cable, a little tiny two-pin cable that has to go from this main unit down to the actual control system. That wasn't put in place, so we had to put that. Um, usually, 90% of the time, that would be the problem. You can see the link in the description. Uh, I've covered that in my other video. But um, just in case you do plug that in, and if it's still not working, what we want to do is Go back to the factory settings. So you go to apps, go to settings, you go factory settings, same quad eight. Then we want to go to protocol settings over here at the top. Now see all these different selections here. This is part of the can set. So there's different selections of various Hondas. So it just depends on which part of the world you're in. I mean, if you do translate this, this might actually come up um this might actually mean something um i'm not too sure what it means to be honest um all these different yeah all these different titles yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what that means but 
what I can suggest is there's different Honda protocols under this column. So for example, under BNR, there's a Honda here. So if you click that Honda here, it gives you a choice of different Hondas. So you might just have a generic Honda Odyssey, for example, or you might have an American or USDM Honda Accord uh, with the 2.4 liter and some things might be a bit different. So you can actually scroll through all these different settings and try out the different menus and select the different Hondas or Nissans or Toyotas. Um, and that usually has a different set of CAN um, protocols which might work for your application because um, this is a Euro R so it doesn't have any steering controls on the system but the the, the actual Euro edition for example the European um, edition or um, the Australian new editions or the New Zealand new or the US new um, vehicles will probably have steering controls here that's when you'll need um, the canvas module so I'll put up a picture now of what that looks like you'll need this module in order to communicate with these steering controls on your existing steering wheel so for example if you had volume here you, you want those buttons to work you need that little control box and that will plug into here and then that might actually result in you having to have change the actual um, can system here so that's something to play uh, keep in mind and then you might actually have to come to back to the factory settings and you can actually change the encoder setup and the physical buttons as well. So you might actually have to program this into your system if you got um, a steering wheel with the buttons that I'm talking about. I'll put up a picture now so you can see what that is as well. But yeah, so that's a quick video on how to access your factory settings. And the reason why I said come back to that Honda and the different selections is initially, like I said, we weren't getting this. So one of two things, um, like I said, that cable at the back, and the second thing was that setting. So I, I actually changed it from their factory setting to that um, other factory setting that you saw in the video, and then this started popping up straight away, and all the climate control works perfectly fine. So it switches between um, vent to the feet um, to the defogger. Everything is done straightforwardly. I've got my dual climate control, so. Passengers have a separate climate control. Driver has a separate climate control. Yeah, so overall it works quite well. All the defoggers, everything work. Yeah, so um, thanks for staying on. And I hope this little extra segment was of some help to you. Thanks for watching, everyone. See ya.